It has the vitality of deep-rooted ethnic culture, a quality which made the people of Kutch a name to reckon with. A vibrant state emerging as a leader in economic reforms. The business instincts of the people of Kutch led to the establishment of many trade centers. Kanla Port is one such example of their entrepreneurship. One of the most dynamic and enterprising port which has grown with time, creating new milestone at each step. Kanla Port is a global maritime logistic hub with 14 cargo berths in a straight line with a quay length of 3132 meters having a draft of 13 meters. It is capable of accommodating ships up to 240 meters. Six liquid jetties with a capacity of 12 million metric tons are the safest and the largest for handling POL and other liquids. It has the largest storage tank farm in a single complex in Asia. A unique 2,600 metric ton steel floating dry dock caters to the repairs and maintenance requirements of the medium-sized vessels of the maritime community at the port. The vast open and covered storage capacity makes it easier to handle cargo for export and import. One of the unique features at this port is its two floating cranes which cater to its large ships anchored in the deep waters. Kanla Port provides free facility for shopping and internet services to the crew members of the ships that are anchored here. In fact, for this they have been awarded as the best port by the International Maritime Organization. Kanla Port is easily accessible to the Middle East and European nations. Its location provides impetus to export and import requirements of northern India. Its tropical and dry climatic conditions helps in smooth and uninterrupted port operations around the year. Besides this, Kanla has no adverse wave effect because it is sheltered harbour being situated in the creek. Kanla port is ISPS compliant. For the security of the ships and cargo, port has inducted Central Industrial Security Force CISF. Patrolling by CISF by high-speed launches in the Kandla Creek has also added to the security of the vessels. All vessels are safely navigated round the clock in the harbour. It has safe and protected vast anchorage for waiting and lighterage at the outer harbour. There are 22 lighted navigational buoys as per IALA system in the navigational systems with solar lights. To help the ships, a fully equipped signal station works round the clock assisting log and port monitoring station at the vessel traffic monitoring system. Kanla is known for its lowest tariffs. It was possible by the measures taken by the port authorities. One of the most significant features is the transparent pricing policy. It has the lowest cost per turn amongst all major ports and non-major ports in India. It provides lowest crude handling rates, lowest vessel related charges, lowest warfare charges and lowest storage charges. Along with this, there are other services which are offered without any payment. They are free services given to 15 days free period for export cargo, 8 days free period for timber log imports, 5 days free period for other import cargoes, 3 days free period each for export and import of hazardous cargoes. For any emergency, firefighting services are free of charge. It has one of the most comprehensive berthing policies. Kanla Port, in his journey of modernization, has not overlooked its social responsibility. A well-planned housing colony is having a gym, a sports stadium and a multi-utility hall. Besides this, a maritime institution has been established along with secondary school. Kanla Port Trust had commissioned the offshore oil terminal facilities at Vardina in the year 1978. 
jointly with Messrs Indian Oil Corporation Limited by providing single boy mooring system having a capacity of 54 million metric ton per annum which was first of its kind in India. A significant infrastructural upgradation has been effected and excellent maritime infrastructure has been created at Vardina for the 32 million metric ton per annum SR oil refinery in Jamnagar district. Indeed, Kanda port has emerged as a vibrant, world-class multi-cargo port, making it the driver of economic growth in the region.